Hello everybody, it's Jager here, and today uh, we're looking at Omni Man. You know, I mean, he just came out for uh, pretty much everyone. I'm doing this super late because I wasn't able to play because of work. But, you know, yeah, uh, this is going to be more of like a guide to kind of get you started. Since, you know, laughing in this game isn't too tough. You know, once you look at frame data, once you look at damage routes, like, you know, damage optimals and stuff like that, things become a lot easier. But this character is super fucking cool, man. Like, <laughs> that was 37% off of back one, you know what I mean? And his back one's pretty good. It's like an advancing mid, 12 frames. Let's, let's start, actually, before I get into the, the combo routes and stuff. Let's actually get into what, uh, what makes Omni-Man so damn special, right? <clears throat> so, first of all, Omni-Man is like a bruiser character, if I had to describe him. He's very much, like, anti-zoning with Filtermite stance. Uh, I think this is called Invincible Rush. Uh, his armor move, which is this really fast mid, it's kind of like Johnny Cage Shadow Kick, but like, boom, you know what I mean? So, definitely don't want to be just throwing shit around when Omni Man's on screen. Um, but yeah, let's talk about his frame data, right? So, I'm gonna put the bot to block. So, here's some strings that you should probably look out for while you're playing this dude. Number one, one, two. This is a plus three string stemming off your one, right? Your one's your fastest move usually. Unless you're Johnny, in which case it's down one. But one, two is plus three, right? Plus three is really good because plus three means you can set up your throw mix. Plus three means you can loop it back into itself. Because the thing is, right, obviously you can dunk. Because there is a gap here, right? It's a mid, but there's, there's a decent gap where you could probably jab out, you could throw, you know, not jab, actually, don't, don't listen to that. Not jab, but you could armor move your way through it if you're too scared of the one, two, right? And there's nothing Omni Man can really do to break this. He can't read, like, you know, he can't, he pretty much has to throw one out and then just pray. And it, it's a pretty big risk for Omni Man just to throw the one out because it's negative four. So, but th this is like your bread and butter, because not only is this, you know, like a really good plus string, uh, if you hit it, you can actually just straight up link it to your combo out. And this dude does buku fucking damage, man, for like literally nothing. Um, this guide is going to talk about some shells you can run with him as well, in terms of like assist and stuff like that. So don't worry, you know, we're, we're going to cover a couple things here. We won't leave you guys stranded. But yeah, one, two. If you don't know number rotation, by the way, one is square, two is triangle, three is X, and four is circle. Uh, and kind of the same notation when you're playing on Xbox, right? One is uh, X, two is Y, three is A, and then four is B, I believe is Xbox. It's been a while since I've played on Xbox controller. But yeah, so one, two is really good. And if obviously if people are getting antsy, they want to throw something out. You know, they want to chase down your plus strings, which is ballsy, but he doesn't have two fast moves to threaten after the one, two that aren't highs. Because, like, back one, you know, you can use because it's 12 frames, right? But that's nine frames there. So if someone masses, yeah, they, they, they could they could do some shit, obviously, because back one is advancing. You can do some shit like this, or one, two, slight back dash into back one, and you'll pretty much avoid anything in the game. And back one's a combo starter, so yeah. Uh, don't get hit by that, man, because he will die. <laughs> like, it's such an easy combo. <laughs> 37%, no bar. 37% on the shimmy. Like, <laughs> come on, man. This character's nuts. But yeah, so. 1 2, and then 1 2 2 is also pretty good. It, it's 0 on block, but I'm going to discuss a couple things that's bad about it. Number 1, it's a high. So, although it is damn near a full screen high, like, it, it's not really that great to use unless the opponent's being really antsy with how they respond to 1 2. But again, it's plus 3, so I mean, you have grab you can enforce, because grab is 10 frames. So, th this this will clash on a match same frame to throw will come out and throw always beats because it's throw in this game throws crazy uh obviously though if they read the throw they'll duck it and because one is also high you know that's double duck that's fine though you don't gotta worry about that you back dash with your <laughs> and then do back one because back one's crazy now you may be asking yourself but jaeger is back one one negative this pop-up 
What if I was to tell you guys that him and Scorpion both have a safe launcher? This is a high, so if you block the mid, you can duck, right? But, unlike Scorpion, they gave him another option he can throw out that's also safe on block if he wants to throw it. Now these have gaps, but that's actually fine because, again, it's just a who's going to waste the meter. You know, when, you, when you're doing crazy damage, man, I'm telling you now, no one wants to waste the meter. No one in their right mind will waste the meter. I'm like, sorry, that combo is so fun to do. So... Yeah. No one's gonna waste the meter. So this is really powerful. Even if they block it, like, let's look at frame beta again. This is negative four on block. You're still pretty safe, actually. Like, really safe. And then if, you know, you could do bit one back on one, which is negative seven, you'll get punished, but it's not a crazy punish, you know. You'll probably get Johnny Cage down one. It, it's just, again, it's just like Scorpion. Um... And if you're really nervous, you can tell this one, which is fully safe. Only Johnny's gonna punish you. And he has to be, like, on point if he wants to punish this. Now, obviously, you're negative six, so now you lose your turn. But, you know, you got you got a couple things, right? You got the fucking armor move. The, the gibbler. <laughs> like, this move is so funny. But, yeah. So, let's talk about 2-2-2. Two, two, two. This right here. There's also, you might notice a, a trend with Omni-Man that like a lot of his strings end with high. <laughs> you know, it's to enforce you to not fully commit because they're all pretty safe or plus. And you don't really need to. That's a negative one. You know what I mean? Like this is a negative one overhead. It also has a gap just like this, but like, you know, you can enforce some pretty crazy things with this. High low mix. You know what I mean? People hate blocking overhead in general in this game, and Omni-Man has a couple overheads, so... You know what I mean? Like, we, we got a couple things here. You know, you, you gotta threaten people with their heads a lot. I definitely recommend bringing a cameo that has a bit of low pressure with it. You know, like, Striker's really good. I think Kung Lao would be really good. I always think Kung Lao's good, though, because this cameo's crazy. Um, even Frost, honestly. <laughs> like, if you really want to gamble, you know? I remember seeing the Frost Havoc shells for a while, back in the day, that were trying to abuse like overhead low shit with the, with the throw to catch people trying to duck throw. It's dumb, because I mean Frost is like negative 20 when you whiff fucking ice, uh, Sigma G, I, uh, ice floor, but it, it doesn't matter because you get a full combo, so like, come on. <laughs> but yeah, so... Alright, so here, there's two other moves we gotta talk about. We're not gonna talk about the overhead, but we're gonna talk about Earthquake Song. This move is negative 11. It's a low mid. This this isn't that great, but it is special principle. So you can go into Viltrumite Stance whenever you want off this. Now, Viltrumite Stance isn't safe. At all. Like, you can throw EX Viltrumite. Because EX Viltrumite is that parry. So if they throw any move that isn't a low, or a jump in, or a fatal blow, you're not getting clipped with this. This is this is safe. You know, if you're really you're really nervous, you could spend a bar. You know what I mean? But nothing in this dude's kit is safe. Nothing. Not even this. The frame data may say it's negative one, but I'm gonna here tell you guys. The moment you see him do that, where you see him kind of take a moment, he goes up, you on reaction can uplock that. And once you uplock that, I mean, it, it, it's hurting for whoever you're fighting, man. You're just gonna hard punish him, cause... Yeah. So, this stance is not safe. There's really no way you can make it safe. Cause that, that's just how they designed the stance. Your best option, unironically, is just to like... EX or just immediately fucking cancel. Obviously you can get away with the, the overhead for now because people aren't reacting to it, people aren't, you know, the, the, the dude just came out. You know, if you want to gimmick some people, this is a good way to start, but.
I wouldn't recommend it. It's it, you're gonna lose if you try to rely on that down the road. Uh, and then four four. This is his mid. It's a really slow mid because it's 17 frames, but really far reaching. Uh, and then this little combo thing he's got is crazy. It's only negative six. There's a gap, but only negative six. Uh, and special move cancelable. So you can keep this completely safe if you want. If they're not blocking, you even get combos. And I mean, again, as you've talked about, combos are crazy. You know, he, he's getting a lot of meterless damage. Uh, Viltrumite Stance EX is just here for the speed, so. so yeah, this is a really good thing in neutral. You could just throw this out, and if you have a good cameo that is great for pressure, you know what I mean? If you want to throw out your little Serenas, you, know, you want to have some Jax pressure, because Viltrumite Stance works really well with Jax. He, uh, he floats, so he avoids the unblockable completely. So if you know, you're throwing pressure out, you know, you, you hit him with one of these, and then you call him Jax. It's a wrap. But this is a really good string. Because if they block it, I mean, with some lousy, this is negative this is plus two if they block. They don't block it, you know, they're getting they're getting hit, they're getting clipped. And then everything leads right back into his pressure. So just plus three. And depending on your cameo, plus two. Again, not to mention he's got an overhead and a low in his kit. Now the overhead is a, it's literally just an overhead 28 frame, so that's the best. But it's like a damn near full screen overhead that you can just throw out. I think you'll get clipped if they're a projectile character, but I mean like... Again, it's a damn near full screen overhead. Th this will catch someone. If you really want to irk a win out, I mean this will catch someone off guard. But yeah. Uh, when you're in the air, your best strings are these two. I mean, they're, they're really your only strings. But, um, no, yeah, th those are your best strings. Uh, don't fully commit to the score at the end. Just do 2-1-2 two, two here. So, not that, this one, but this one. Because, you know, you want all the damage you can get. And since you can special move cancel this, I mean, part of what makes him really cool is literally he's, like, everywhere on screen. Like, his movement in the air is insanity. Look at this walk animation, man. But yeah, like, he... The dash here, this does damage, so... You know what I mean? Again, he has a lot of cheeky shit right now that, like, if you're not ready for it, you'll get clipped by, but... It, it, gimmicks are gimmicks, they won't last you forever. Part... Once we get past, the, like, explaining a couple of the basics, we're gonna talk more about what his actual game plan is and what you're actually gonna be doing with him. So now we're gonna head on to special moves. Mega Clap. Remember when he did this in the show? I think he was fighting uh, the old dude. Forget his name, but... The dude who was teleporting, he was cool. Point is, Mega Clap's here. Now, Mega Clap is pretty fucking bad, I'll be honest. It, what I would say is it's probably his worst move. There's nothing good about it. It's like a, it's an 8% mid that goes about this far, so... A little closer than start position. EX is obviously further out, it's not full screen. But it's, you know, relatively, it's like the same length as the overhead is, you know. I think actually verbatim it's the same length, so. Um, you could throw this out. This does eat projectiles, but again, you don't need it. You have Viltrumite stance, and this stance is made to, like, destroy projectiles. So, don't use this move. Don't even waste meter. Giblet Maker, this is an armor move, and this can be used in air. So, like, yeah, you're going to use this a lot, honestly. Now in air, um, pretty much all the aerial moves he has that aren't uh, invincible rush, like before a combo starts, are always going to get your opponent like super full screen, right? Obviously Omni-Man doesn't have to worry, because he's Omni-Man, you know, he wants to be up in your face, so getting full screen, like, you have built right there. I, I can't stress enough how crazy this stance is. It's going to make your dreams come true. It's crazy. Once you're full screen, you really don't have to worry too hard about getting in. You're forward four, and Viltrumite stance will make it so people don't want to zone too much against you. If you guys are struggling against Raikos or Shangs, I mean, this is the character to pick up. But yeah, uh, next we have Viltrumite stance. So let's talk about the actual stance itself. So, as I mentioned prior, uh, Viltrumite stance is pretty much his bread and butter. This is everything for this dude's kit. Uh, it has a cancel, and you can cancel actually really quickly. 
But I would not use this as like an actual like cancel. Yeah, you know, most of the time you're pretty negative off of cancels. Try to do it as quick as I can, but not the best. Again, dude just came out, you gotta give me some slack. But cancels aren't the quickest, so it's good to have. But it's not really the end all be all of them. Uh, he has a teleport off this. Now again, because this is fully projectile immune, I think it says it right here, right? Yeah, it's fully projectile immune, so like, getting a, an easy in, if like, again, you're fighting like Shang and he does triple skull on you, boom, and then you just like, you know, you, you just give him the punishment. Because th this is all meterless, you know? You punish him hard for that, and then you're up in his face for the throw mix. The throw, you know, mid mix up. Um, it's it's not really the best, but I think it's good against zoners. Uh, drag through the mud. This is your combo starter. It's meterless. It's great. Not much to talk about with this one. Uh, next is the triangle one. I'm just trying to see the move name so I call them what they are. Honorable death. Uh, yeah, that's such a cool move. Now this is honestly what I think you're going to use when people do projectiles. Because, I mean, it's like 20% for a punish, man. And with ca certain characters like Jax and Darius, you actually can convert off of this. You know what I mean? Like, right when he does the backbreaker here, especially with Darius, yeah, you could do some nut shit. So, you definitely don't want to throw projectiles against them. Uh, but it's just 20%. You can't make it go any higher. Uh, tiebreaker. This is a overhead that is negative one. Obviously, up blocking completely gets rid of anything that makes that scary. But if people aren't expecting it, especially when you're doing shit like this, yeah, you gotta guess, you gotta guess, you gotta guess. And it's, I think in corner, oh, that's right. Ah, man, why can't this game just be cool? Y'all remember? Oh my God, thank you, Jesus. I didn't even know they added that. When did they add the, that's it. But yeah, let me, when in the corner, you know, if you're setting up a fucking hard to blockable, you're pretty much setting up someone for some full on failure, man. Like, the, it's hard. This character is, is crazy because of the overheads. Um, so, this, this move is mostly good as a mix up tool when, like, you're full screen with WoW. Um, again, it's safe if people don't unblock it. So, like, you're pretty good at using it. Up and away, I don't fully know what this move is useful for. Uh, how do I? Oh man. But yeah. Uh, so you can. I don't fully know what like normal up and away does because it doesn't link with anything. It is a combo starter if you're able to hit it. So, you know, you can save your, your jump state on that move right there, the, the little choke, but I don't know. EX makes it so this is actually linkable. Come on, let's look at that real quick. Let's see what we can do with this, man. 35, I don't know, for a bar that's kind of crazy. Why even waste it when you could just get meterless? Like, it's less damage, sure, for the meterless, but like... It's, it's like literally 3% less. Save the bar. I, I don't know, this is also like Mega Clap, but I just don't know what up and away is useful for. Then we have the Invincible Rush. Uh, so we're done with Filter right Stance. So, Invincible Rush is this move. I don't think that this version on the ground is good at all. In fact, I'd even go as far to say it's just as useless as clap and uh, up and away. But air invincible rush is where the fun begins because this is a combo starter that's an overhead for some reason. So like, again, I mean, if you, if you really want to set up some hard to blockable stuff, man, you can really go crazy with this one. 
I'm trying to see, because I know I can, yeah, I know there's a way you can make it, so I... Yeah. They gotta have good reactions, man. They gotta have good reactions. Again, I will legitimately, full-on disclosure say, I think Kung Lao says best is this, at the moment. Obviously, it's day one, though, so, like, take that with a grain of salt. Uh, yeah, that's Invincible Rush. It, it doesn't have an EX, so that's why the overhead one is good. If people, you know, throw projectiles, again, you get hit with a Raikou. Hard punishment. Don't let him get away with that shit anymore. Like, just, just let him know. And then the flies, as I mentioned. These are a hit. Uh, this is kind of like a combo tool, mostly. And you could spend more bar and combo to keep doing it. Like, if you really want to. <laughs> it's kind of funny for, like, an end-of-game situation. But yeah, uh, that's Omni-Man for, like, the most part of what the basics are. Let's talk more about now what you're actually going to be doing with the guy. And uh, shells as well. So, again, 1-2. This is your main B&B &B with this stuff, man. 1, uh, uh, uh. Uh, 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 you gotta constantly guess. You know, you have a throw, enforce your throw game. Everything can literally go right into Viltrumite stance. Like, everything in this dude's kit goes into Viltrumite stance. Obviously not everything, everything, but like a majority of his kit goes into Viltrumite stance. So use it. it it's like, really good. And enforce those plus rings. Yeah, this is like Johnny. One, 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 one. But this is one, two. You know what I mean? You do that, and you have a mid to just enforce it. So people have to respect it. Anytime someone mashes, just real quick do this. There's nothing they can do. There's no move in the game, right? No move in the game. That could really j I mean, at worst, the more I think about it, if Johnny's like frame perfect here, he could nine frame do his advancing mid. But that's part of why, you know, you do the backdash here, so you avoid the initial whatever they throw out. And then you do punish. Obviously there's mind games involved with this. That's the point. So it's a rock, paper, scissors the moment you throw this out. But you know, they can't eat this forever, because this is doing chips, so you gotta You gotta enforce that stuff, man. Now again, he is very negative off of pretty much everything in his crit. There's really nothing I would say to like use special move wise because almost everything is negative. Uh, other than one two though, I'm gonna put a couple other things you should be using. So these are the combos I think he legitimately is going to use. And you know what, for, for shits and giggles sake, I'll put the overhead. Because why not, right? So, plus one, or plus three, right? We'll pull one, two. Here's your mid. This is the mid you're going to enforce your frame traps with, right? Any shimmy you want to do, any, any plus frame shenanigan, you're going to do back one. It goes really far. You can back dash and it will keep, it will literally keep you in the space always. I had to do a double back dash there, right? One or two two is negative one. It's an overhead. So you there's a mind game there with a low. So always remember that. Again, almost everything every one of these hits far like back one two here for the ones I'm showing. Like all go into Viltrumite fan. So Earthquake Stomp. It's negative eleven. It's not that great. But, depending on your cameo, this negative weapon, this is like, I think this combination, the reason why I picked Kung Lao for this beginning of the tutorial shit, was to kind of talk about this synergy here. Earthquake Stop is nasty. It's a really good low. It's 14 frames, right? He's, it's advancing, and it's a low mid. Now, it's negative 11, meaning pretty much every character in the game is going to punish this, even if their eyes are closed. But, with Kung Lao, because of the way that Omni Man works when he does this, so when his foot connects is when the actual special move portion of this, of the cancel comes out, right? When you want to cancel this. So, obviously there's, there's some stuff here you could do to keep shit safe. Like, you could do this. Again, this isn't completely safe, thanks to up block, but... 
they, they can't really punish this thanks to the cancel window. When Kung Lao's on screen, this is actually completely like real. There's nothing they can do about this. They can't. There's no gap here. There's nothing they can do. This is plus two, guaranteed. Plus two guaranteed with your seven frame plus three combo, right? Ah, oh, but like, why does it matter? It's probably not that good if you you know you hit it or whatever, right? What if I were to tell you guys? that you can link some stuff off this. Now, I'm not the best, cause, you know, but there's some stuff I've been trying to showcase. Yeah, like there, you can literally link this. Get yourself a 35er right there. I think you need the back one cause it's the only one that has the range and speed, but it is like such a tight window. So like, you know, take this at your own discretion, because obviously, right, I can't even do it consistently. But if you can, my thing is like, yeah, you, you open up so many options because this is a low that's like guaranteed, right? Like th this, this sequence is guaranteed on block, the Kung Lao hat, and if it lands, you know, you get so much. Now obviously, because of the tight window, it's not, alright, it's weird, it's tight and not tight at the same time, because you do this and then you immediately back, uh, forward dash into back squat one, but you have to like wait for the forward dash to be like done. So immediate cancel into Kung Lao, sometimes the dash don't come out. You have to like get it on the, the exact spot, which is so damn tough. But once you hit it, because also right when you whiff uh, back one and go into ex Viltrumite, it, it the ex Viltrumite won't come out. You do need to spend a bar for this. I'm, I'm not gonna sugarcoat it. I mean, maybe we could do something like lighter. Let's uh, hold up. Let's see. Oh, wrong button. Yeah, yeah, so if you want to as well, you could also do like the Giblet Smasher or whatever this is called, the Giblet Maker. Uh, if you really don't want to like, spend the bar. You know, it, it's a free 20% off of like, a low. <laughs> And again, that's if you don't have bar, because if you have bar, I mean... I also want to showcase uh, that as well. Like, I'm talking about how, you know, it's pretty inconsistent for me. But also, just with training, I'm getting better at doing it. So like, obviously, right? If you put some practice into this, it's very possible to hit this. Keep yourself any of the post phase. I would just honestly, anytime you do an air combo, you're just going for damage and Oki. Do this one. It does way more damage, and you're right in the dude's face. Like unless you're doing like a Jack setup or a Daria setup, just go for the the one two grab. But yeah, so do that. This also works by the way with uh oh this string right here. This is a really insane string. Again, it's negative five or six I think on block that like, you can go into Kung Lao hat on, and then you get a full combo. Uh, I'm kinda, kinda fucking up, but you know. Yeah, like right there, you know, like this is, they block it? Plus two. They don't block it? 35%, I fucked up because I'm, I'm kind of losing my brain, but you get the point. Overhead, I don't really recommend this, but again, gimmicks are always here. If you can specially cancel this, I think this would be on this character would be top one. Uh, but you gotta remember, you have, you have options. Now let's discuss some shells you guys can use. Because, you know, I'm showing a lot of Kung Lao.
But I think Kung Lao is like a really broken assist that you're gonna see a lot of. So I'm just prepping you guys for the truth. Obviously when like Tremor comes out and we actually get to lab Tremor, I think we're gonna see a lot more uh, of the shenanigans, so to speak. But, you know, I think ja uh, Goro can work as well. All right, let, let me go into the list of characters I actually think work here. So, number one, Darius. I think Darius is a really good combination for him. A lot of his animations are super long and kind of like uh, Raikou. Him and Darius just synergize because of the amount of damage they put out onto an opponent. Yeah, you could do a lot with Darius. A lot. And Omni-Man really doesn't need cameos too, too much to save his game plan. The game plan is very simple. Kano. I think Kano is pretty much like the new Cyrax. Him and Striker. So I'm also going to recommend Striker for what I'm about to mention. But uh, Invincible Rush and like Gimblet Maker, if you want to just throw those shits out full screen, just save your ass with Kano and Striker. I mostly said Kano for this because Kano has a lot more consistent like actually being able to catch people off guard. But like both of them work. You know, you could do the the like Viltrumite overhead. And if you're scared that someone's gonna punish you, you literally could just throw Kano as you're ascending. And there's nothing they can do. They have to respect it, because you're negative one. Like <laughs> they either have to eat Kano knives, which lead to a full combo conversion, or they they just block and it's back to your turn. You know what I mean? So you can you can get again get away with a lot of bullshit. Kind of similar with Sonya, although Sonya's a bit more gimmicky with that. I imagine Sector has some stuff you could do, although I imagine it might be a bit different because of the way that he works. Um, Jax is really good for him. Again, Viltrumite stance, like just beats out the unblockable. So. On top of that, these two synergize because of the fact that Omni-Man throws people around a lot. So just have Jax scoop them for you and then just finish off with like the backbreaker. The shit he hits Cyril with, so. Um, other than that, obviously Kung Lao, I think Scorpion does good and I think Goro does good. Because Goro and Scorpion always are the damage dealers. These are like the dudes you throw out when you just want to get like 50% combos. You, want, you don't really want to work for the combo, you just want to hurt. So these are the dudes. Goro obviously I think has more utility just because of Goro's plus frames. Um, especially because Omni Man doesn't have that many lows to enforce Scorpion, so I wouldn't even recommend using Scorpion for like the overhead. I've always, I, I'll be frank, I've always been under the assumption Goro and Scorpion play very similar, the difference being like plus frames and shit like that. Since I think, I, I personally think Goro is just better in every way. Like, if you can utilize Goro, if you get better with his timing, he, he, I think he does everything Scorpion does, but just with a little more utility. I don't think he needs subs. I'll be completely honest, I do not believe he, he needs anti-projectile. You know what I mean? The, the, the two, or I'll say three cameos that I would fully recommend at the moment is Kung Lao, Kano, Darius. And Darius is kind of interchangeable with Jax, because both these guys are just here to give you a little extra HP, so you bruise a little harder, and also to cash out. Whether you do unblockable setups or you're doing fucking just a high damage combo, right? Striker and Kano are if you want to just be really unga and just gorilla your way in by doing Invincible Rush or Gable Smasher or any of your just instantly in their face moves and just protect yourself with an ambush assist from behind. Because very few characters can really punish you for doing that, like Geras is one of them, but Geras is a special case, and the opponent has to be really good and fully read what you're doing, so just don't be predictable. But that is the name of the game when it comes to ambush assist in general, right? I don't know about the Shujinko matchup yet, though. But yeah, the one I would personally recommend, of course, is Kung Lao. I think Kung Lao is just, it, it's his best. Guaranteed his fucking best. There's no way this is not his best. But like... Darius is also up there, I think. I think Darius got a little bit of that pressure. And definitely Kano. But yeah, um, with that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed. 
I know I rambled a lot there, but you know, obviously I'm, I'm pretty excited by the way he looks. He's really cool. He does a lot of damage. He's very, very simple to pick up, I think, and just, yeah, he, he just looks like one of those dudes that's just going to be a threat. So yeah, with that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in the next video. See ya!